The DNA Technology Use and Application Regulation Bill 2018, introduced in Lok Sabha on August 9, 2018, provides regulation of use of DNA technology to identify individuals under certain circumstances. What is the need for DNA technology? DNA is a set of instructions that exists in all living forms which are received from its parents. Apart from identical twins, the DNA varies from one individual to another and is unique. Because of its uniqueness, DNA-based technology can be used for the purpose of identification in a variety of areas. In criminal investigations, DNA technology has been used to identify offenders by comparing DNA found at the crime scene with the DNA of suspects for possible matches. In civil cases, it helps in identification of victims of disasters, such as cyclones or air crashes. How is this technology going to be used? The bill establishes a DNA data bank at the national and regional levels. Each data bank will maintain five indices for DNA data. Some of these indices are to do with investigation of crime and would include DNA of individuals such as suspects, offenders, victims, or objects found in the crime scene. Apart from this, there are indices for helping in the search of missing persons. Further, there is an index which is used for identification of deceased persons. This might be used in large disasters where people need to be identified. In order to build these databases, DNA samples can be collected from individuals. For example, a police officer can collect a sample from a person who is arrested for a crime. A sample would include a blood sample or a mouth swab. In order to collect these samples, written consent of the individual is required, except for individuals arrested for a crime that carries more than seven years imprisonment. DNA samples can also be collected from individuals who have volunteered to give their DNA, or they can also be collected from physical objects found in the crime scene. One of the provisions in the bill is the removal of profiles of those in the suspects or under trial index on the orders of a court. Similarly, profiles in the crime scene index, missing persons index, can be removed on a written request. How is the database regulated? DNA profiling could result in personal information being disclosed, which could impact the privacy of persons. In order to regulate these DNA data banks, the bill creates a DNA regulatory board. The functions of the board include, among others, to supervise the functioning of DNA laboratories and data banks, and ensuring that information relating to DNA profiles and samples are kept secure. For more information, please visit our website prsindia.org.